Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another gardening project. So, I have noticed lately a lot of grasshoppers um, in my garden, but specifically in this spot. I will put a couple clips up right here. of grasshoppers that I've seen in the last couple days, specifically on my July garden tour. I saw quite a few over here. So as you can see, the cone flowers, most of them are spent. They need to be pruned back anyways. Um, but really the grasshoppers are just eating the leaves. So they're, I'm going to prune them back. I'm going to spray everything with neem oil and we're going to see if maybe we can get this grasshopper infestation under control before they lay a million eggs and spread to the rest of my garden because I know that grasshoppers definitely uh they can take out a whole garden if they feel like it so we are going to start work on that and we're just going to see how far we get I don't know that I'm going to prune every single cone flower back but we're going to prune back enough of them that they have a fighting chance here. So let's get started. Let's see what happens. All right. So just coming here at the front. Oh man, there's like a bunch of uh, ants on this one. Look at this. Look in the middle of that cone. Do you see all those ants? I don't know that y'all can really see them, but there are just hundreds of them. It's so weird. All right. So, anywhere there's a bloom will leave several. But like this one, I'm gonna take it down a little far under this set of leaves. Now, a lot of these actually look decent, so we might, the ones that do look decent and don't have bugs on them, we'll bring inside and put in a little vase. No reason not to enjoy them. Probably go get a, a water and put them in as I take them. The rest of them we will put it depends. If we see bugs like with some ants or um, any signs of grasshopper eggs or anything, we will definitely just throw them in the trash, unfortunately. But anything at all that does not have signs of bugs we can put in the compost bin. So like all of these are too spent for a vase, but they could easily go in the compost bin. And I think I'm gonna grab my other uh, clippers. So, right there is a grasshopper, I see one. Let's see if we can kill him. I hate killing bugs. Even like, oh, I know they're bad. Nope, he jumped off. This is why I'm not good at it. Got it. Dead. Surely there's a better way to kill them. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm 
actually cut them in half. I'm going to go ahead and put them on time lapse because it's going to take a minute, but essentially you understand now we are going to go plant by plant, remove any buds physically that we can find, any decent comb flowers like right here. that we can use for an arrangement. We're going to keep, we're just gonna double check. They have absolutely no bugs on them before we bring them in the house. And then the rest will go in the compost bin. And hopefully we will be able to spray this down and everything will look great for the rest of the season. Biddy, oh, I just heard the UPS guy, I don't know if you heard it say, hello buddy. Biddy was up, up by the road. Biddy, come on. You can't be up there. You're gonna get kidnapped, you're too cute. She knows better than to go in the road. She's not allowed to go off a curb or in the road without permission, but she just loves people. So she'll go as close as she can. Just stare at the road like, I wanna be who the people are. I wanna get in all these cars. Come on, Biddy. Were you saying hi to the UPS guy? You know him. Mommy orders lots of stuff, huh? To your friend? To your best friend? Don't go with the UPS guy. All right, y'all, so you saw, I basically cut back everything to right above a good set of leaves, or there are several places where the plants are already putting out new buds for new growth. And most of that was about this um, third of the way down the plant level, which makes sense because coneflowers have long stems. So we cut everything back. I killed any bugs I saw. They're very fast and sneaky, so I'm sure there are dozens that I'm just not seeing. So we're going to spray everything with the neem oil, and as it rains, I may have to come out to keep applying this. If you know a better way to do grasshoppers, let me know. But everything that I've read said neem oil works. Um, my vegetable garden is on its way out right now, not vegetables, fruits. I have cucumbers, and strawberry, and watermelon in it. Um, and I'm replanting that for July. So it's not a big deal right now, but I don't want to use anything that will kill pollinators. So spray. Make sure you get, get all the leaves, get the flowers, get everything. I have to get some more because it looks like we're running low. I also cut the gara back. It was really long and stringy. Well, it seems like the comb flower is the main thing they're eating. I'm also going to spray everything around it because if all of a sudden, they can't eat the comb flowers, they'll just move to the next thing they can eat. All right, we got quite a few comb flowers for a little bouquet. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick all of my, um, Zinnias as well, because we've got quite a few of those, and they are cut and come again flowers. If I cut them all down, um, I'll get plenty more next week. So, I'm gonna have a little Cosmos, not Cosmos, Zinnia comb flower bouquet. I need something with some foliage, but I don't know what. 
Ready for your close-up? All right. Bees are all over the comb flowers already, even after spraying. So they will be fine. But you can see they look a little funky, for lack of a better word. But here and here are two new buds. So I'm going to leave them just like this. And they will rebloom. We will have a whole new show of pretty pink comb flowers instead of the going out of style ones. Now, I've said several times this year that I thought when I planted these comb flowers, I got them from a lady who had too many in her yard, that they were the short ones, the like maybe foot and a half ones. These are three, four feet tall. So I think next year I will probably dig them up and put them all in the back of this border with the Gara more in the front and then the Angelonia. We want things to go up. Right now it's just kind of all scattered together. I do like it, but A, I want my rose to be the star and then I want it to lead into the comb flowers around to the glads with the shorter things in front. So there you go. That is all we're doing with the grasshoppers today. Cut everything back, sprayed it all, and hopefully... Hopefully that's enough, but if not, we'll be back with a grasshoppers part two. I am going to go ahead and we're just going to dump everything in here. We're not going to put anything in the compost bin just in case there are grasshopper eggs or anything else in here that we don't want in our compost bin. So it's better safe than sorry. We're just getting rid of it. <laughs> Bye, y'all.